so there we go now run game if this players that size less or equal to zero uh, or greater than zero basically I can just do that and then I can remove all these extra things sorry about that guys I just look tired today can't really think clearly this video is pretty long too so there we go move that move that and just play just get hurt wait did that break oh wait k plus k plus k sorry about that boom might as well try with the other player as well uh, right there just have that player get damaged okay broke Oh yeah, the follower player texts as well. They get kind of crazy. Because they are... They have to be... Because um, as the player dies, these have to die as well. Uh, oh yeah. Hmm. Um. Hmm. So I'm gonna have to erase the text. Where is player? Where does this happen, though? Here we go. Okay. So I'm gonna have to erase both the texts. Follow player text, erase, dot erase, this follow player text, dot begin, plus K. So there we go. I didn't add anything to static players, so we're not going to remove their UI yet. Um, there we go. You can still play and you're dead. Okay, one more time, one more time. Because that HP went really low really fast. So, okay, that's crazy. That's insane damage. Three damage. Three damage. Four, two, two. Okay. Uh, I gotta see what the hell's going on. Enemy. When I create the enemy, what am I creating them with? Freaking rocket launchers? Okay, three to one, so two to one, I'd say. So now I should get a maximum two damage. Yep. Alright, so player two is dead. Wait, that was weird. That was weird. I just gotta check. Check the number on their player number. So this is one. So if one dies. Wait, if oh, if one dies, if zero dies, oh god, oh god, I thought wrong. Step so becomes zero. Okay, that's weird. I think I know why. Because when we go through this thing. Uh, it sets the player text to I. Where is it? Uh, draw set string to I plus. Yeah. Uh, um, 
this players at position i dot get let's see get player number inline int const int get player number const return this oh whoops this player number there we go player number so that should do make sure that we don't get a error uh, so if one would die no we're zero what the hell that is weird set string get player number um, oh it becomes player zero oh yeah it does it does it does it does hmm it does so we're gonna have to solve that later what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a is alive boolean so instead of removing the player I'm gonna set it to dead so when it's dead it won't be able to do anything um, that way we don't have to erase it or erase anything so where is the player uh, where is this you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and just remove all this stuff um, global bounds, enemies get global bounds, and in player, you know what I'm gonna, I'll, I'll do it right now, player number is alive, whoops, well I could just check with the is alive function, if players dot Players at position K is alive. Then I'll do all this thing. Mm. And where is this players? Size is bigger than zero. Um, if players, what is this here? If players, ah, uh, always forget this. Players at position i that is alive. Then I'll update and do all this stuff. Mm, I think it's down to where. I think it's after right there so we'll go down what really that's it that's the for loop okay so here it's like that and then this is the enemy update okay this is the enemy update and then the draw if uh, this players at position i that is alive same thing for this boom okay so there's some much more if statements but that's okay mm. So we'll draw it out good that's good okay then we need a it's alive uh, where is it game so let's say Mm. 
where is it? Players. Players alive. Go in the game. Quickly change this. Where's players? In it, players. This players. This players dot get size. Dot size. Okay. Uh, that's good. And then every time a player dies, take damage. If player dot players at position K. This that is alive. Um, this minus minus. So that just happens once, and then it's gonna remove the enemy and break. And then we're not even gonna go through that again. Uh, okay, so let's see. So we got two enemies or two players. Boom, 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 boom. Still working. We're zero. It's good. Okay. Good. So if this player's alive, there we go. Now I'm going to try dying with player 1 and we'll see, no player 0 I have to die with, god damn it. Okay that worked and then got to die with player 1, player 0. And this is still 1, well it worked. Alright that was kind of a tedious thing to do uh, but hell yeah it worked where's game game text text game over text and then in the initialization game over this game over text equals or Set font uh, color red. This game over text that set font. This font. Um, this game over text that set string. Game over. this game or text that set character size to like 40 boom this game or text that set position window dot get size window get size dot x minus 100 this god damn it window get size dot y divided by 2 there we go and in draw text where is it draw draw ui Update, update UI in it game. There we go. If this player's alive, less than or equal to zero, this window dot draw this game over text. So we got to try this out one more time. Um, let's see. Boom, 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 
Boom, boom. Boom. Bam. Okay, so that's kind of weird. Uh, plus, wait, what? Set position. I set the position to window that get size. Oh, wait, whoops. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to be here, taking all kinds of damage. Killing my player zero first. I think. Bam. Game over. This window divided by two minus a hundred. Sorry, guys and girls. Last time. Still ending the video here, so I'm just going to test this out one more time. Just position it correctly. Uh, you can skip forward if you want, of course. Ah. Uh, there we go. Game over. Woo. Okay, so we got a game over text. We got the game running like it should. Uh, we're going to have to handle all these static player text as well and stuff like that. But uh, I think we're good. Thank you guys for watching. This video was cut up a bunch in different parts. But, uh, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. I had a lot of problems to fix and I fixed them. So we're good. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye-bye.